Hi, everybody. My name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator, and I'm dedicated to learning new accents and voice types uh, each month. This helps me with my work in uh, creating characters for my projects, and I hope it's helpful for you, too, in whatever way you like. Uh, this month is going to be Arabian. I'm going to take uh, things that I understand about the accent based on what I've heard, uh, what I'm imitating, and also instruction that I've received. Put them into a digest for you. And then I'm going to apply these principles to song lyrics. Ta-da! This is the mattoon, everybody. This is a picture of me with my glasses on, and it's meant to illustrate where the accent is living in my mouth when I'm practicing it. So uh, what you see here is frontal orientation. Lips pursed, flexible, uh, cheeks uh, pushing the lips forward but not overly tight, and this wonderful, wonderful whirlwind of delicious articulation with the rolling R's and the ends of sentences and uh, being very, very clear, like all of us theater lovers appreciate. Hmm? Um, and uh, all this sort of thing, and which will then be uh, reflected in the principles that we outline. Principle number one, the change of the TH sound. Voice TH as in this, and voiceless TH as in think. The voice TH for an especially thick accent, turns into a z, zis. The voiceless th turns into a s, sink. However, if you want to go for something subtler, just apply the principle of the tongue being much closer to the front of the teeth. So this would be this, and think would be think. Um, however, I'm going to exaggerate them for the sake of having a template from which I can dial back. Principle number two, the delicious rolling r. Uh, so close your eyes and start to breathe, which is, uh, you know, general American, a little exaggerated, um, it becomes close your eyes and start to breathe. Principle number three, the most challenging for me, is uh, a little bit of space between consonants when the consonants are stuck together. So, for example, we take the word fly and we have to put a little bit of air in there, fly. Um, this is sometimes a little less tricky when um, you are really rolling the R's because that will naturally put some space between um, the R and the next consonant. Um, also, a highly articulate L uh, will also create some space. And just minding diction creates a little bit of space too. But uh, boy, this is something that I uh, need to work on. Vowels. Um, so, uh, the first, uh, change that we're going to work with is the A, E, reversal. Um, so, strange would be strange. Um, now, on the other hand, head would be head. The next one is the, uh, I sound, the short I sound, I, turning into an E sound. So, singing, singing. Uh, the next one is the short O turning into a long O. So, hot would be hot. Um, I don't hear a reversal where the long O turns into a short O, which is uh, when I'm doing Spanish accents seems to be frequently the thing. So we're just going to go into the delicious territory of O with everything. Okay, everybody, it is song time. We're going to take these principles and apply them to the lyrics of R.E.M.'s The Lifting. Good morning, and how are you? The weather is fine, the sky is blue. It's perfect for our seminar. Now, close your eyes and set out to breeze. Allow the noise to recede. Allow yourself to drift and fly away. But you just stay grounded. 5 a.m. the night light is comforting, but gravity is holding you. Once settled into sleep, you have watched on repeat the story of your life across the ceiling. And in review, you said the air was singing it's calling you. You don't believe these things you have never seen. Once you had a dream of oceans and sunken cities. Memories of things you have never known. You have never known. And that was The Lifting from R.E.M. Uh, music by Kevin McLeod, who gives us stuff free, public domain. Uh, thank you so much, Kevin. So, was this the perfect Arabian accent? No. But. Uh, a decent starting place, and let's use this video as a place in which you can give notes to. Uh, specifics that you know about the Arabian accent, links, uh, all that sort of thing, put them in the comments, and I will see you next time.